What's up guys, Corey here yet again with Golden Press Studio. Today we are going to be in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to teach you guys what I do to set up an underbase on artwork. All right, so uh, if you guys don't know what an underbase is, in screen printing, sometimes uh, you're printing on a dark garment and you have a couple different colors um, but when you print those colors on a dark garment, most likely with Plastisol ink, you're gonna want something underneath those to set like a base. And so often we use a white under base to create, uh, yeah, just like a good foundation for your ink to stack over top of it so everything looks nice, bright, and vibrant. I'm gonna show you guys my methods within Adobe Illustrator to, a, to just put that under base on your artwork. Yeah, without any further in the doing, might as well jump into old Adobe Illustrator. And I'll give you a rundown on how to do this. All right, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator, and this is a cool piece of artwork that I drew up for a client the other day, and what a surprise, it's a freaking skull. We got white, we got this cool red tone, and we got this nice bluey, uh, whatever, tealy tone. And what we wanna do is right now, you know, we don't have an underbase. You know, there, everything is just as it is, no white underneath it, and so this is how I go about doing things. And uh, I think, yeah, this, this background dark color is just locked right now, so don't worry about it. Um, so, let's jump in. First thing I wanna do is just highlight the entire artwork as it is. Currently, everything uh, is in its own separate group, and uh, we can tell uh, that something is in a group because right up here in the top left corner of Illustrator, it's a little thing that tells us what an object is. It's really helpful. Uh, I encourage you to pay attention to that because um, it just lets you know what's going on with your artwork. Anyway, we're gonna highlight all that stuff and what we're gonna do is hit Command C to copy and then we're gonna get, hit Command F and we're going to copy it to front. Um, and what that has done is uh, I'll just show you, we have a perfect copy. All right, so with that selected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to my Pathfinder options. If you don't see that, you can hit Window and scroll down uh, to uh, Pathfinder and select that and it'll pop up. What I'm gonna do is right over here, I'm gonna click the Unite. That's just gonna fill in everything uh, that is selected as one shape or at, more so as one group as you can see at the top. All right, so what we're gonna do is select this color box and we're gonna choose a color not used in uh, the artwork currently. So we could just choose like this green color. That is totally fine. We're gonna hit okay. So we're gonna go up to object. We're gonna go down to path and hit offset path. And uh, it's kind of defaulting right now to what I normally set it at, uh, but it'll probably look something more like this for you. What you're gonna do in this offset, you wanna have to set to miter, not uh, round or bevel. And then uh, it depends a little bit on the size of your artwork. So uh, if you're maybe working with like a small pocket print, you don't wanna do um, like a huge offset. If you're working with like, for this design, it's 11 inches wide on the back of a shirt. Uh, so we have a little bit uh, more kind of room to pull in. Uh, but I'm gonna say negative 0.008, that's probably fine. There's a little preview button you can click. And we're gonna hit okay. Now this is super important. At this point, do not click off of your artwork. Um, as you can see right here, it's now, it's selecting uh, the original size, or actually it's selecting uh, the thing that we have now offset. So we're just keeping it exactly how it is, not clicking off, and we're gonna click over here and change the color yet again to a color not used in the artwork. We, we can use this darker green color and now you can click off, you're fine. And you can see this is gonna be uh, this darker green color, that's gonna be your under base. And what we're gonna do right now, everything is a group. I just clicked on it. As you can see in the top left corner, everything's a group. We are gonna now two finger click uh, or right click and ungroup it and then click off of it. And now nothing is a group. So what I wanna do is go in and select this lighter green color and go to up at the top select same and fill color and it's going to select all that and I'm just going to delete that and now you can see uh, kind of where our underbase is going to lie within the artwork 
And then what we're gonna do again, select that uh, darker green color, select same, fill color, and we're gonna group it. And uh, now we can kind of arrow it back or we could even um, like set it to white. We'll just use my eyedropper and set it to white and push it to the back of the design. I'm just doing that by hitting command and left bracket or right bracket to bring it forward, command, left bracket to bring it back. And our design now looks exactly how it originally looked, but uh, if I go and highlight this white area, because I know that the underbase is on there, I can group that. And you can see when I click on my white layer, we can see it highlighted underneath all the design and everything is good and happy exactly how we want it. Um, if there's not white in your original design, that's not a problem either. Uh, you'll just have an additional screen that would be your white underbase screen. You'd print that underbase and, uh, and then you'd print all your other colors over top of it, just the same method. Uh, now all I need to do is uh, real quick set up uh, my artwork to get it ready to be printed out, um, throw some registration marks on it, that kind of thing, and uh, we're gonna be good to go. And there you guys go. Uh, got my artwork now set up, ready to be printed out. Um, you know, I have my white underbase layer, all of that, the entire design. Then I got my red layer and, and that my blue layer. Everything's good to go. I got my master set off to the side. So there you guys have it. That's how I do it. That's how I put an underbase on some artwork. Um, even artwork that has a lot of texture within it, uh, you know, as you saw, none of the texture got lost. It all looked really good. And uh, now, when this gets printed on a dark garment with Plastisol ink or whatever, uh, it's gonna look bright and bold in the original colors that we planned it to look like. Uh, so, there you guys go. I hope you learned something in this video. I hope this made sense to you. Um, and man, thanks for uh, hanging out with us one more time. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. If this video meant something to you, if it impacted your life, go ahead, drop a like, that'd be cool. Uh, and uh, if you have an issue or you hated this video, drop a comment and tell me how much you hated it. And uh, that really boosts my self-esteem. So we love you guys. We'll see you there. We'll see you in the air. And we'll arf on you later, little doggies. So arf. <laughs>